Good evening again, everyone. Advancements in DNA technology are the reason a 26 year old cold case is reopened in Marshall County. WFO 48 Savannah Sapp joins us now live in Marshall County. Savannah, you had the chance to talk to the company head that helped identify the victim after more than two decades. Right, Liz, Ellen Graytack with Parabon Nano Labs tells me that when she started at the company 10 years ago, it was all about DNA research, but now they are working closely with law enforcement to make breakthroughs just like this one possible. After 26 years of no leads, new DNA technology reopened Marshall County's oldest cold case. Parabon Nano Labs helped identify the headless, handless body found in the late 90s as Jeffrey Douglas Kimsey. Ellen Graytack, director of bioinformatics for Parabon, says scientists modeled Kimsey's face by comparing DNA samples from his body to their massive database of samples collected from volunteers and public records. So we use those database subjects with the known outcomes to build machine learning models. So we basically teach a computer to go from DNA to a prediction. They passed those results on to Marshall County investigators who were able to track down Kimsey's family and get a DNA match. Graytax says predictions like eye color and facial features can come from just one nanogram of DNA. You took a sip of a bottle of water and we swabbed the rim, we would get 20 to 25 nanograms just from taking one sip of water. So if there's a visible drop of blood, you know that's going to contain plenty of DNA to do this work. Graytac says the company's work has reopened many cold cases across the country. There are so many families, neighbors, you know, communities out there that have had their lives changed because of the work that we've been able to do. And so it's just so gratifying to know that you know, we it started as science. Now, Marshall County Sheriff Phil Sims tells me that the department will continue to work with Parabon just now to identify a suspect. Reporting live in Marshall County, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side.